Hey guys, welcome back. I am Pat, the Queen of Wands. We're shaking. Thank you for everybody who's been checking me out this tonight. Um, thank you for all of our subscribers as well as our new subscribers. Thank you for joining the game. All right. So I just want to say um, thank you for all of the bookings. I'm already um, partially booked for tomorrow. If you'd like to go ahead and book a reading with me, please email me at queenofwands50 at gmail.com. Okay, so um, this reading right here is karmic energy. You know I don't meditate on that shit, all right? Let's keep it moving. So what I got right here is uh, fake friends, okay? Jail time. <laughs> Worst nightmare. Because somebody keep being in and out. One minute they sweet, the next minute they're a bitch. All right, they always got something to say, always talking about other people, always starting rumors and gossip because you're dealing with a she devil bitch, somebody who's overly jealous, overly uh, envious, and also dibbling in black magic. Okay, they're very manipulative. Okay, it's a very secretive energy here. But they're facing karma. Okay? And for trying to control shit. Alright? So let's go off into this energy. Hey, I want to give Miss Sandra uh, Brown some love on her new deck right here. Karmic Confessions. Okay? This look really toxic. Alright? So this card right here shows me some succubus energy. Like, it's some succubus energy here. This is a succubus bitch that, hey, opens up her legs to get as multiple lovers as she can. Chained and trapped to her affections. Wow. That's pretty deep. All right. So let's go up into this deck and find out what's shaking. What's the karmic energies? All right. The karmic energy is, look at that. What the fuck did I just say? Is sexual magic keeps them trapped. Okay. The first card out after I just made this comment in her deck. All right. This is the back. This is the cover of her deck. But this is also the first card. That this shows that this is the overall energy with the karmic situations at this time. Trying to keep the masculine stuck in their succubus energy. Wow. Okay. Let's get going. Okay. So... The karma could have got caught cheating. All right. Cute deck, Sandra. I love that. All right. Uh-oh. This card fell on the floor, so let's see what that is. Two of them. Three of them. Okay. So you know there's something. Um, God, forgive me. I am suffering. I really messed up. This is the divine masculine. Asking for forgiveness. For dealing with these karmic situations. Knowing he fucked up. Knowing he fucked up. There it is. With his head bowed down. Praying. Just knowing they fucked up with this succubus energy. You know. Just getting caught up here. And all of this. They were one of the participants. Alright. Up under her coochie. Alright. They was chained to that shit. And they know they fucked up now. Alright. This is um, vice versa. Either one of them could have got caught cheating. The next card here is, this is a slick bitch. All right? But maybe the slick bitch got caught cheating. Okay? Mm. And this is, God has um, spared my prayers. I am so happy to have you back in my arms again. So this is what the masculine is hoping. This is what the masculine energy is hoping. To have you back in his arms again after he can get away from this karmic situation. All right? But they having a hard time because they're dealing with a slick bitch. Okay? Let's get on this karmic energy here. All right? And this divine feminine. This is who the karmic is trying to be. But this is who the karmic is trying to fuck with. The divine feminine. All right, that's who she's trying to fuck with, and that's who she's trying to infiltrate the divine feminine. All right, because this person could be a witch or dealing with a witch, and she also tempted the masculine energy to take the bite of this apple. She seduced the masculine energy and temptation, and they fell for it. 
because this slick witch could have been trying to act like a divine femme. All right? That's who her focus is, divine femme. Okay? And this is blinded by what I thought was love. They thought this was love because this person was slick and trying to act like you, divine femme. And it was all lust and temptation, and it did nothing but fail them. These cards came out right here, and it's family dysfunction. If they're in a karmic situation, it's totally dysfunctional. All right, the next energy here is, I was so jealous of your relationship that I wanted to break it up. And this is what she's saying here. She wanted to break you up, divine feminine masculine, because she was so jealous of what you guys had. All right. I keep you fighting for my love by third party. So the karmic is even in a third party. Okay. And she keep fucking with the masculine energy. So the masculine just in and out. And she's just doing what she want. But she also have a third party. Wow. Okay. This card right here is transformation. All right. So the karmic could be trying to transform. Okay. Or... The masculine energy know that you have transformed from this karmic situation, divine fam. Okay? It's transformation going on within this whole um, arena of karmic energy. These third parties and everything like that. Okay? Because I don't see this as a karmic transforming. They could. I'm not feeling that energy. I'm feeling like this is your energy, divine fam. Knowing that you have transformed yourself from a karmic uh, third party situation. Okay? Any more messages here? Uh, <clears throat> I'm looking in your phone. So the Kermit could be looking in the um, masculine's phone. Trying to see who he's been talking to. Trying to see what's going on. Who they've been texting and calling and stuff like that. They... <clears throat> Alright. And this is always fighting over money. They're always fighting over money. There's some throat chakra energy coming on. Like somebody got something to say, but they don't. Or they can't. They're struggling to say it. Okay? So let's see about these fake friends and what's going on here. Give me the karmic energy that we need to know. There's a mental breakdown going on within this karmic energy. What do we need to know here, Holy Spirit? What do we need to know? Let us know. All right. This is a famous card that we always get. This person's losing their fucking mind. They're almost at a cycle point in their life right now. They just losing it all. Nothing is working. Karma's here in play. And they're highly pissed off. And all these cards are out today. And it's they're highly pissed off about this competition. They feel like they end with you, Divine Femme. Ugh, it's, it's chakra energy here going on. Like somebody want to communicate. Maybe this karmic wants to say something to you guys. All right. So I'll try to put some energy on that as well. I just feel like something getting in my throat. Okay. But this is competition. This, this karmic is going cycle over you being competition. All right. You're really not competition for a low uh, vibe energy like this, Divine Femme. All right. There just can't be on your level. It's a lot of jealousy here. All right. I feel low IQ, uh, intelligent energy here. Okay. And um, this is they want to fight. They want to knock your fucking head off, girl. Okay. They're really angry here. It's like they want to break you down type of energy here. I feel like they got a lot of shit to say. Okay. The next one is um, creating fake accounts, trying to monitor you, see what you're doing, what you're posting, hoping that you're with someone else. Okay. Look at that. They hate on your success. They do not want you to be sexful, successful. They're putting all type of curses and everything on your money. All right. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and check into your money too. Okay. And um, they just trying to put curses on your money. They're deleting messages here. All right. This is maybe the masculine. Oh, they're deleting messages from their own cheating. Oh, okay. They're deleting messages from their own cheating. So when they like come back or go in the house or whatever, they're deleting messages from their phone to not let the masculine energy possibly know what they've been up to. All right. They're also hacking. They could be hacking any type of energy that they can find on you, information that they can find on you. Hacking the masculine's energy here. You know, uh, like, what the, um, what the, what is that? Oh, like, um, the DMV stuff, driver stuff, and, um, like a search online. Oh, okay, finding out addresses and 
all kind of stuff like a whole register about who you are all right just hacking to and ch make sure you change up on your passwords and all of your stuff it could be on youtube divine film you know mm. it's something about some tickets if you got some tickets at a dmv um somebody could be messing with that all right and they just fake and all of their friends are fake so they could be getting some fake some friends or whatever up here somebody is fake and somebody is helping them hack okay hack they got a partner with this okay and they having a mental breakdown definitely because things are not going their way things are not working out okay and they're really focused on you you're their bullseye divine film you're the bullseye you and the masculine energy and they're going crazy over this shit they're losing focus all right, they're in their head. They just having a breakdown. This is crazy toxic energy, okay? And this is divine saying the karmic. All right, this is the karmic that's losing their mind. So this is uh, energy that you guys need to be aware of, because we have been dealing with that. But I feel like it's at a breaking point almost. I hear yes, and they're doing magic. They're definitely into candle magic and just spells. They're trying to kill your success. This relationship is almost like their competition with the divine. To break this union up. It's like a mission for them. Okay? That's what I'm hearing. It's a mission. Alright? The mask is falling off. Everybody's seeing who they really are. They've been covering up for a long time. Being secretive. It could be some lies behind them. And of course a lot of secrets. Alright? But what I tell y'all about that magic bullshit. Alright? Look at that envy. They're wearing a mask. They're very envious of you, Divine Film. Everything that you have going on and the love that you share for the masculine. Okay? And he shares for you. Holy Spirit, really? All these cards? Yes, they said this person is dangerous. So be aware that this person is very dangerous. All right? They're following you. They're stalking. They're stalking the masculine. They're following the masculine. Trying to see where he's going. What's going on. Who he's going to visit. Okay? They're getting tarot readers done on you guys. They're watching these videos. They're trying to find out everything that's going on within this uh, relationship and within you guys. The masculine too, okay? And this is, they're trying to ruin your reputation. This is rumors and gossip getting started. They're just an attention whore. They always try to look sexy, look good. They're trying to be the life of the party. Always want everybody looking at them. They have some partners. They have some friends that they tag team. Talk about you guys on plot with you guys, you know, plot um, together with. And they're in denial that this is not going to end, that this is toxic. They're in denial that they can control someone's life, okay? And that's why they're losing patience here because nothing is going in their favor. Nothing is working out for them, okay? Hmm. All right, so let's go off into some truths with this karmic situation here. The truth is that this person continuously talks shit. Always got something to say about this. Always starting stuff. Always um, starting rumors because she jealous. She wanted she doing this black magic. This person spends so much time hating that they don't even see what could be right in their own lives. Okay, and once again, they're fake. And all this divine sin, all this gossip, and all this unwanted stuff is fake. It's fake. And this is how they get their attention. And this is why divine labeled them as an attention whore. Okay? Holy Spirit, what do we need to know? The truths about the karmic situation and the masculine? The truth is, it's emotional abuse. Alright? This could be vice versa energy here. Emotional abuse of how they treat each other and talk to each other. It's been all kind of red flags going on in this situation that's been overlooked. Someone's not using their intuition, but yet they're trying to level up off each other. And it's not working out to me. <laughs> all right. Holy Spirit, please give me the energy on the karmic situations. They're tapping into your energy, guys. I told you guys this. They're tapping into your energies. You guys could feel extra drained and tired, negative. You know, just feel like some type of depressed energy here. They're trying to drain you. Okay. Because they know that you chilled out, bitch. They know that you are chilled. Look at this jealous ass bullshit. They trying to learn how to get in your energy too. They trying to learn how to be like you almost. Alright? This is so sad. Here you are, Divine Film, in a karmic reading. 
because this shows you how jealous and envious they are of you and they want to be like you and they want to tap into your energy this is some copycat shit for real ain't it all right the next shit is making a u-turn divine masculine has made a u-turn in this situation because he probably feel that they fake trying to act like you all right look at this all right because they just unstable they're unstable right now they're not thinking okay and they just overwhelmed they just doing way too much and he know he been doing way too much in this situation all right the other energy i got is this just self-judgment starting to feel insecure about themselves all right and this is a stable man you know putting up the bill to make him be a stable man to make him look like a stable man they could be buying this person okay purchasing him buying his clothes buying all his shit Making him look like a stable man. Making him look like he doing something for them. But he ain't doing shit. It's vice versa. Acting like he got his shit together. Okay? But they go out there and also fuck with stable men. Who got their shit together. And be that succubus energy. Alright? But they keep switching up on this person. They keep switching up on them too. Alright? And now, they're burnt out. They switch up. The masculine switch up. Everybody burnt out here. This is like used up energy. What's the karmic energy, Holy Spirit? Because everybody power hungry. So the masculine energy could be burnt out from going back and forth. This karmic is going back and forth. Keep switching up on these masculines. Okay? And dating different people. As you've seen the beginning of the video. Just dating multiple people. This a power hungry bitch. She's trying to level up off of other motherfuckers. Alright? And she's burnt out. And she's also burning your masculine out. But this person is also playing your masculine just like he played you keep switching up going back and forth switching up going back and forth nothing stable but also through power and control and black magic okay this this um karmic energy is like a, it's a um i swear it seemed like he signed to deal with the devil okay hacking more hacking going on here okay this is inner childhood wounds they does nothing but sit back and find ways to manipulate people and hurt people. This hacking could be some fraud as well. Fraud. It could be um, identity theft. Okay. It could be um, where people using somebody's credit cards online. Yeah, because they keep hanging on to this toxic ex, this power hungry ex. Somebody just keep hanging on to her. All right. And also this power hungry bitch keep hanging on to an ex as well. All right, and they're burnt out. Look at that betrayal. So it's like the karmic betrayed them. And they still hang on there. They go back and forth because this person is a succubus energy here. All right, and the masculines be drunk. That's why they let somebody control them. They hurt because they could have seen this person cheating on them with their own eyes. Okay, when they was drunk and then they went and got drunk. So they could have really liked this power hungry ex that they keep hanging on to. That's probably a drunk as well. And she keep cheating on them and going back and forth. <laughs> okay. Yup, this is a bad business deal. I told you guys somebody just signed to deal with the devil. <laughs> Divine saying this is a bad business deal. Whatever is that going on here is bad. Okay. And hey, now they want their twin flame. Now the masculine energy want their twin flame. And also this karmic energy is trying to kill this twin flame journey. Okay. This is a, um, the masculine energy and the karmic. They could be in like a more a war minded mentality. Trying to fight. You know disrupt from this twin flame journey. Trying to fight for it. You know doing whatever they can. Because they're in an ego now. They're in a narcissist mode. So they militant. War minded. Like they're going to fight about this twin flame journey. Hmm. It's like they're trying to go against spirit. Okay? Look at that. Want to come in. They could be angry. It could be a fire here. Somebody could be running away on this motorcycle. This is somebody angrily coming after somebody. But this could be somebody new racing, leaving a situation. You know, meeting somebody new. Leaving a toxic situation that was on fire. Somebody was playing with fire. Next card. Damn. What did I say? The next card is playing with fire. Okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Look at that. Somebody definitely playing with fire. Something is about to explode. Okay? 
It could be a tower moment coming. Dang. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They letting y'all know something happening here. Okay, with this karmic situation. Yup. They're jumping to conclusions here. Okay. Divine said, I got this power hungry situation. Okay. They got this. All right. Because they want you to know, Divine Femme, you stripped and cleansed from this karmic bitch. You stripped and cleansed from this person that continues to do black magic. I have told you guys, when you get this message from Divine that says you are stripped and cleansed from this, believe it and leave it alone. Believe it and leave it alone and have faith that divine is protecting you from this. Okay. I'm begging you guys not to focus on the black magic. Focus on moving forward. Focus on your journey. Focus on bettering yourself and taking this as a life lesson. Okay. You better than this. Divine is telling you you're stripped and you're cleaned from this situation and this karmic energy. Okay. I put the good cards over here. I don't want to mix them with the trash. All right. All right, because your masculine energy now wants a second chance from this. They want a ch second chance with you. They want to make amends here. And this is where divine stepping in and saying, they can't touch this. I got this. All right? They letting the karmic know, I got this. They stepped in and the karmic's reading and let y'all know that I got this. This is my divine film. She is protected here. I got her. So you can plan and plot all you want. I got my divine film. Look at that. From this shit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They got you covered from this shit. From somebody trying to fuck with your head. Drain your energy. You know, make you feel delusional like they are. They got you. Divine said they got you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for these confirmations that they are protecting you, divine film. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Look at that shit. Judgment. Karma. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He in this damn reading. Spirit is in this reading to let you guys know they got you. Whew, don't get me preaching. But I'm telling you guys, just like I made the other video, that whatever y'all going through, the hurt and the pain, the shit that y'all been feeling, all about y'all been emailing me about, y'all feel this and y'all feel that. Divine said karma's here. They got this shit. Nothing, nothing, no harm will ever prosper. Divine has you. They letting you know karma is here. Judgment is here on this whole fucking situation. Woo. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They got you. What they say, you are free from this shit. All right? You're free from this. Look at that card. It's beautiful. It's light. You guys are free from this karmic situation. All right? This is not your battle anymore. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yep, that somebody else took a risk. That somebody else gambled they shit. All right? That somebody else is now drinking. You know, pissed off about their choices and their decisions because they want to level up. They thought the grass was greener on the other side. It's not your choice anymore. Divine have you protected, Divine Femme. Okay? Because somebody trying to set them up and play with them now. This is what they did to others. And this is why they're in this situation now. The karmic energy, the truths that we need to know. That you're a strong individual. And they know that. Okay? And they know that you will prevail. And that's why the karmic energy could even be obsessed with you. Divine film. This person is obsessed with you because you're a strong individual. You're very strong who went through a lot. And they know they sent you through a lot. And you still came out winning and being a boss bitch. Okay? And now that's why they obsessed with you. Because they see that you still prevail and won through their bullshit. Through their insecurities, through their succubus energies, through them stealing your masculine, through them fucking you over consistently, thinking they hurt you, but God said they you cleansed, you stripped from this bullshit, and now they're facing their karma. So karma is here. I hope you're listening, thumbs down, bitches. Karma is here. So that's why you obsessed with the divine film because they overcame. Your hurt, your pain, and your bullshit. Because spirit stepped in with an intervention. And they saved their divine films. Because you are a child of God. Whew, thank you, Holy Spirit. You're dealing with somebody delusional. 
You know, because their insecurities of themselves, they had to induce this much pain on you, on someone else. Because them hating themselves, they had to try to put this on someone else. Thank you. Post-traumatic stress disorder from their own lives. They had to hurt someone else like that. Okay? In this marriage, it could be a wife who's doing all of this. All right? You don't have to be a wife. If this don't resonate with you, don't make this shit fit. Okay? Please don't comment or email me. I'm a wife and I'm not doing this. But this story is not for you. Okay? It does not resonate for you. Okay? Don't make shit fit where it don't. Okay? And then be pissed off later. Alright? But I'm serious about my readings. I take my readings very seriously. When I get this energy from spirit. They're messages. Okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is a liar. This karmic energy, this whole situation is nothing but a liar. A big, fat fucking liar. Okay? This is a big, fat liar. All right? This is a single individual who don't want to be committed. Who just like multiple lovers. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Woo. Y'all be getting me preaching up in here. Y'all be making me feel some kind of way. Shit. Okay? It's a revengeful person who's very hateful. Okay, who's very hateful, who wants revenge due to this situation. She feel like she's losing, and now she wants revenge. But you are protected. Thank you, Holy Spirit. From this black magic, from this she-devil, who's malicious and spiteful, divine letting you know you are protected. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The guard's up. You're protected. The masculine energy could feel like he needs to protect himself and you. Somebody's been threatened here. What's the truth going on, Holy Spirit? Because they want you back. They want your forgiveness. Because they want your love. You've been threatened. They're being threatened. Okay? Because they want your spirit. They want your energy. Because divine is stepping in here. Making this person see you, divine film, for who you truly are. Your light. Your love. And here this person is trying to drain that and keep that energy stuck and keep this darkness over here thinking that they can overpower the spirit. And you can't. You can't overpower the spirit. Woo! Divine wanted me to stay up tonight to do these readings. You can't overpower the spirit. Okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. This suck of this bitch. You can't overpower spirit. This suck of this energy is here, y'all. They trying to fight you. Being this perfectionist, this beautiful person. They trying to fight you. They pissed. Because this is how spirit sees you. This is how your masculine sees you. They're pissed. Okay? They're pissed here. Okay? It's some tattoo energy going on here. Somebody can have some tattoos. The karmic can have some tattoos of the masculine energy on them. And they can be pissed off about that as well. It's just some tattoo. Somebody can work at a tattoo parlor. Okay? It's a catfish energy. All right? These karmics was not who they appeared to be. They were not. They were sent here for a mission. And they accomplished it. And all they got was broken promises and broken hearts. Because of their own doing. And being somebody that they was not. Okay? But their mission also was to make sure that the masculine did this to you as well. Some sexually transmitted diseases flowing around here with the karmic energy. And now here's that wake up call. All right? Here's that wake up call is here. Someone is about to get a rude awakening. And this is what's going on with the karmic situation. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They not playing. They tired, y'all. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Karma time. Karma time is here, karmics. Karma time is here. And that's what divine want you to know. Okay? This is what I have for you guys. Thank you for sticking in there with me. Y'all know I get real. I get emotional. Because I experience what we all have experienced. I am here to give my messages for you guys. And I will not stop with nobody says. What anybody has to say about how I deliver my messages. I feel energy. And that's how I deliver my messages. 
I come real. I come from the heart, okay? I am a divine messenger, okay? And these messages, sometimes they're good and sometimes they're bad. And that's just the way it rolls, okay? But when you're an adult, you need to hear some real shit. And this is the awakenings that we need to know what's going on instead of living false, okay? And some fake shit, dealing with fake-ass motherfuckers who bullshitting us, holding up our life, fucking up our potential to grow, okay? That's what I'm here for, okay? And that's what my channel is for. And if you're not down for that, and if I'm not the bitch for you, then wall alone out, back out in fucking tarot land, okay? Have a good night. And I am Pat, the Queen of Wands. If you like your own karmic spread, email me. Okay? Bye-bye.